Hey guys, so you might encounter situations where you want to sum the largest three, four, five values within a numerical data range or sum the smallest three, four, five values within a numerical data range. If your data range is particularly large, that can take forever. Luckily, Excel's got a combination of functions which you can use together to really simplify the entire process. So to begin with, we have to use the sum product function. So in our table here, we've got um, a variety of different product codes and we've got the weekly unit sold for each product and we want to sum together the largest three um, values within our weekly unit sold column so in order to do that we begin by using the sum product function so we do equals sum product and then within the first argument of the sum product function we have to enter in the large function because we are essentially looking at the largest values within our data range so we use the large function. Within the first argument of the large function, we have to specify the numerical data range, which is cell B2 to B18. Within the second argument within the large function, we then need to specify the number of large values that we want to add together, which in our case, we want to add together the top three values. So in order to do that, we have to use the row function. We then, within the row function, um, argument we have to enter in the number one uh, colon three because we are summing the top three values so one to three basically means one colon three basically means sum together the top three values for me we then close our parentheses completely then we press enter and there we have it the largest three values have been summed together within this numerical data range to return a value of 279 the one disadvantage with this formula is that if you want to say change your input from the largest three values to say the largest two value, you have to go inside the formula itself and make any modifications, which could lead to you um, say deleting a parameter within the formula, which will lead to an error. We want to try and avoid that. So in an ideal world, we want to have a separate input cell where you can just enter exactly um, how many large values you want to add together and that would then update automatically into your formula. Luckily, there's a way in which we can do that if we combine the indirect function with our sum product large and row function. So what we need to do now, we then um, go to cell reference E5, we enter equals sum product. Um, as before, we have to use the large function because we're summing the largest values. Within the first argument, we select our numerical data range um, within the second component, we then need to use the row function again to specify, you know, how many large values we want to add together. So, so far, it's the same as what we've done before. Now, this is where the difference occurs. We have to now use the indirect function. So, what the indirect function do is that it will refer to the range which you want to refer to, and that range will be a dynamic range. So, in our instance, we want to refer to a range which will be from 1 to our cell reference which contains the variable input so we have to within um, quotation marks we have to enter in the number one we then put the colon we then close the quotation mark to signify the end of the text string we then need to join it to our um, variable input cell you can't see it because it's being covered by the formula but i believe the variable input cell is contained within cell h six over here you can't see it unfortunately but it's cell h6 over here so i will then enter in cell h6 i think it's h it's h5 sorry not h6 h5 and we then close our parentheses we close it again and again until it's completely closed then we press enter and we got a reference error the reason why is because our input cell here which is cell h5 it's blank so if I enter in, say, the top three, as before, enter in three, that returns 279. If, for instance, I want to return the top four values, I just enter in four, and that returns 364. If I just want to return the largest value only, I can enter in one, and that returns 100. So if we go back to our formula here, the indirect function is essentially referring to the range one, two, our variable cell reference here. So whatever... Um, value you enter here will signify 
the end of that range. So in this case, it's one to one. If I change it to six, um, it then becomes one to six. If now, say we want to add the, the smallest um, values within our range. So all we have to do now, so we've got some of larger six, we want to sum together the the smallest, say smallest six values within our range, we then have to change the large to the large function to a small function. That's all we do. And then it's a small function. That's that done. Then we press enter. And now it's returning the smallest, the sum of the smallest six values within our numerical data range. If we want to say sum the smallest one value, i.e. the smallest value, that returns 31, which is the smallest value. If we want to sum the smallest three values within our data range, we then have to enter in number three, and that sums the smallest. And we can obviously change the largest description to smallest if you want to.